So clipping is another one of these winter jobs that is very important. Horses obviously grow the winter coat um, as of November. Um, they get very hairy. Um, so yeah, it's important to take all the hair off so when they're working, they're not getting too hot, they don't stay wet, and you can still rug them up accordingly. Um, Ted is our lovely model today. Um, so I'm going to do a hunter clip on him, which is a um, saddle patch, and then the rest of his body off. Um, but I'll leave his legs on. We'll always leave the legs on with the event horses um, because when they're brushing through um, all these different jumps, anything could, could get in and there's a bit of hair there, it's a bit more protection. Um, I just use a normal saddle pad to start off um, and I always start by doing the saddle pad so you're not too close to the back end, likely to get kicked, you're not too close to the head to scare them. So it's always a good place to start. Um, in the winter, I, always, I would always do a saddle pad um, just to stop any rubs from the saddle. Um, in the summer, if they were going to a three day for a trot up, we'd tend to do like a pro light shape, um, so without the flap down here. Um, I have got nice clean clippers, fresh blades, all oiled up, um, and I'm all connected. And you can see I've got my wire over the top of the bar here, so there's no chance of it getting um, mangled up into Ted's legs. So let's go for it. Boy. Oh boy. So every five minutes or so, I like to stop, give the clippers a good brush, get rid of any hair on them, nice and clean, and I'll oil them again. So I've done the middle section now, the saddle patch is done. You can see I've moved the duvet up over each top end um, to keep it nice and warm. Now I'm going for the back end. Again, same thing, um, just being careful if he's a bit sharp of where his back legs are. Um, and then I'm just going to do one nice easy line up across his flank here. So that's all done. As you can see, all the hair is off his rear end and there's just one nice even line there across his flank. Um, I've just been doing some nice long even strokes and then if there's a little bit of hair left, little prickly bits, I just do a little shimmy with the clippers to take that off and as you can see, there's no lines or anything there. It looks, looks good. So I'm now onto the front end. Um, so again, I'm going to take all the hair off here. I'm going to do a line as close to his mane as I can without taking it out. Has been done before. Um, and then I will do another line um, in front of his leg here and then clip all under his elbow and underneath all the way up to his head. And today I'm just going to do half his head. Um, so I'll do a line down here and take all the hair off his chin. So Ted's all done now. I have been around his whole body and checked I haven't missed any spots. I've um, checked the lines on both sides to make sure they're equal. 
and um, now I'm going to take them over and hot cloth them before I put them back in the stable. Some horses do not enjoy being clipped, um, so there's no shame in having them sedated to do it. Um, Sedlin, we would, we would not use Sedlin, it's not strong enough, so we would use the vets um, and they would come and give them a dose of ACP um, and that just settles them down and reduces the risk of um, you getting injured, but they, it is still possible, so you always have to be on your toes and be careful at all times.